Hey what's going on guys, welcome to your 8th Django tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can use the Django ORM to interact with a database. Alright then, so in the last video what we did is take this dude over here, this model, and we migrated that to the database so that now the database knows to create a table for this model, okay? Now, in this video, I want to look at interacting with that database. How can we do that using this model in the code? Well, that's where the Django ORM comes into play. So the ORM bridges the gap between the code and the database, and it's built into Django so that we can use it to interact with the database using the model. We can do things like save an instance of the model, or retrieve models from the database, update a model, that kind of thing. So since we're just testing this out, I don't want to start messing around with the code in the application. So instead, what I'll do is open up an interactive shell to test this out. So the way I'll do that is go to the terminal and to open up an interactive shell. All we need to do is say Python and then yet again, it's manage.py and then just shell. This is going to open up an interactive shell for us. So we can use this now to start writing our Django code and interacting with the database. So the first thing we need to do is actually import the article into this shell because we're going to use this article model right here to start interacting with the table. So to do that, I want to say from articles and articles refers to the app name. And then I want to say dot models, which refers to the models file right here inside the articles app dot models. And then we're going to import from that article, which is the class name here or the model name. Okay. So we're importing that now and we can use it. So if I say article right now, then we can see that it's a class articles.models.article. All right. So then how do we use this to interact with the database? Well, say, for example, we want to retrieve all of the rows or objects, if you like, inside the table for articles. Well, all we do is we say article like so. Then we can say dot objects, right? Then we want all of them. So it's dot all. So article dot objects to refer to the objects. Then we want all of them. And it returns a query set. And there's nothing in here at the minute. And that's because we've not actually created any articles yet. So how about we do that first of all? So the way we create a new article, a new instance of the model, is by saying a variable name. I'm just going to call this article with a lowercase a, but you can call it whatever you want. And I'm going to set this equal to article, which is our model and invoke that that's going to create an instance for us. OK, so if I type in now article, we can see that this is an article object. OK, but it's got no properties yet. We've not given it a title or a slug or anything like that. So let's just give it something. We'll say article dot title is going to be equal to hello world. Like so. All right. So now. If I type in article, it's still an article object, but I can also type article dot title to retrieve the title of the article. Make sense? So how do we save this now to the database to a table? Well, dead simple. All we need to do is say article, which is the article instance we created dot save. And that is going to save this to the database. OK, so now. Why don't we try retrieving the articles again from the database table? Remember last time we got an empty query, st uh, a query set, but this time we should get one article in there. So let's do article, which is the model first of all, dot objects. So remember, this model is referring to the table in the database. So we're saying, okay, get the articles table, then get all the objects, then we want all of them retrieved. So now we get a query set with this item inside it. Okay. We have one object in there. So it's retrieving that for us. And if there were five objects in there, it would retrieve all five of them for us. OK, so if I want to retrieve, say, the first one, I can say article dot objects dot all. And then I want to use square bracket notation to say I want the zero index, which is the first one. And let's say we want the title property from the first one. We can say dot title. That's going to bring back hello world. So this is really cool. We've created a new instance of an article, saved it to the database. Then we've retrieved that using the Django ORM. And the ORM is basically just all this stuff, how we're interacting programmatically with the database using our model. OK, 
Now, the only thing that's kind of holding us back here is that when we retrieve this query set, if there were say five objects there, then we just see article object, article object, article object, and we wouldn't actually know what those articles were. A better way to do this would be to see the title of the article maybe in each case. So we can actually do that. I'm just gonna control Z out of here. Then I'm gonna go over here and underneath all of this stuff, I'm gonna add in a function. And this function is called underscore underscore str underscore underscore, right? And this is a built-in kind of function which defines how an article is going to look both in the admin section and also in the shell when we just retrieve them. So if I say def underscore underscore and then str underscore underscore, it takes in a parameter self, which is the instance of the article. Then what we're going to do is return the self, the article itself dot title, right? So now the string version of that article when we retrieve it from the database is not going to show just article object article object it should hopefully show the title of that instance does that make sense so let's save this and let's go in here again and say python manage.py shell and by the way i just pressed up to get my most recent command i'm going to enter into the shell again i'm going to import the article again because once we entered out of uh, exited out of it we lost that so we need to import it again so we'll say from articles dot models import article. Oops, I've made an error there. Um, where is it? That's because I've got a dot after models. That's fine. So now we can say article dot object dot all to retrieve them all. And this time we see the title of the article because we said that the string uh, version of this article should be the title of it. Okay, so this is how we control how the article is going to look when we use the shell and also in the admin section, which we're going to look at in probably the next tutorial. So let's just add in one more um, article. We'll say article two is equal to article and article two dot title is going to be equal to I don't know Django rules all right so let us now save this article 2 dot save that should save it to the database and then if we want to retrieve all of them again we can say article dot objects dot all and that's going to retrieve both of those and we can see in each case we get the title of the article not just article object hello world and Django rules so awesome, this is how we interact with the database using the Django ORM and our model right here. And this is how we're going to be saving things in the database as we go forward. All right. So I just wanted to give you a taster of this now to show you exactly how we're going to be interacting with the database. And later on throughout the series, we're going to be using this kind of technique in the actual code base over here. So now we know that in the next tutorial, I want to introduce you to the Django admin area where we can see all of our articles that have been added. We can add more articles, we can delete them, etc. 